Hey, what's going on? It's brother Kamal Mahar here. Back at it again. Definitely for the Most High. First things first, I'm going to give all praise to the Most High. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakah Kudash. Double honor to the GMS apostles and elders um, that I learned this truth from. Um, and definitely all the Akim that I've been watching as well, getting my notes and getting everything down as well. Learning from them brothers as well, from the top to the bottom. Um, and also, peace and blessings to the Akim out there preaching his word with whole heart, truth and sincerity. Um, blessings to the 144,000 and the one third, first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. And what's going on to the confusion of faces, speaking in different tongues and looking at different nations. Today, I wanted to get on one of the main things the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh one of us prophets to, to preach about in general. Is the prophecy of the destruction of the whore, Babylon the Great, United States of America, which it got to go. And it will be destroyed by thermonuclear war and World War III that's building up right now. It has to go. It's time for it to go. And um, we're just trying to go home so that way we can come go into the kingdom. So this particular uh, earth can have a new management and new rulership which it desperately needs. Um, regarding this particular World War III, you know, first things first, I want, I definitely wanted to talk about the fact that the player is involved. Now, you know, um, America is going to be destroyed in general, but this ally of America is Israel, which is ironic. Um, but um, they're, between the two, which is our allies, they are really... Uh, Stirring up the pot and, and pissing people off as far as other countries. And um, what's going to happen is um, um, many countries are going to come around like NATO, um, which is which is um, uh, revolved around a, a bunch of different um, countries in general, called basically called states in this particular situation. I looked it up. It's about 29 of them. It's a whole mess load of them. Italy and Bulgaria and Germany and Russia. And it's a whole lot of them. But um. Um, these particular countries are right now, like, for example, let me, let me pause for a second. You see um, um, uh, North Korea, which is one of them as well. North Korea is over there shaking hands with Trump, making everything seem to be pretty cool and fine, like everything is going to be OK. But it's really not because the most high is going to make is going to put a spirit on these countries to turn on America. And it's going to and then once they turn on us, it's not going to go down. It's going to basically, uh, I mean, I, I didn't mean to say it's not going to go down. I'm just saying it's not going to go down like that on how everybody thinks it's going to be. Because the other countries are going to nuke the mess out of America. And, they're, and it's going to be destroyed in about an hour. That's what the scripture will say. I want to give them this precept on Ezekiel 38. And I pretty much can go to um, one, basically... Uh, we can go to, let me see, I could go to go to seven. Yeah, we go to seven. It says, And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, Yahweh Shah, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, which is Russia, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and a prophecy against him. So this is Ezekiel having a uh, seeing visions of how what's going to go down, how things are going to play out between these particular people or these characters on the board. That's going to be involved with destroying America. Um, and it says, I will turn thee back and put hooks and put hooks into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth and all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them cloth with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling, handling swords. Persia, which would be the Iranians, Ethiopia and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. So you can see how Iran so-called Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, which is kind of quiet right now, but according to prophecy, these particular countries are going to be involved with Russia in order to um, team up and, and help destroy America. Destroy America. Uh, Gomer and all his bands and the house of Tomar of the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee, be thou prepared and prepared for thyself, thou all company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou guard unto them. Oh, so they're going to gather around. This World War III is cooking up. And you can see these. some of these uh, characters are already doing their thing. 
you know, it's already starting to play itself out, which is very exciting, especially to us Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negro, Latinos, and Simeo Indians, or Native Indians, so-called. Um, and so we just we just waiting, you know, sighing and crying, you know, just hasten for the situation, praying for shorter days that this particular these particular prophecies will come about. Um, I also wanted to get on. Um, you know what? Let's move to. I want to get to Joel, Joel three and nine. And uh, it says, "Proclaim, proclaim you ye the this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. See, they, see these men are they they going to all the biggest top dogs in the country. They going to come or come together and they going to be uh, you know gathered up to do to do some crazy damage. Beat your plowshares into swords and your puny your pruny hooks into spears and let the weak say I'm strong." Assemble yourselves and come all you heathen and gather yourselves together round about th uh, thither come thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, to power. Um, uh, so it says uh, 12, it says, let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is the middle of east with the Middle East where Persia and all the uh, Iran and all those particular countries around. That's where the Middle East is. That's the valley of Jehoshaphat is that same area for there. Will I will sit to judge all the heathen round about put ye in the sickle for the harvest is right. Come get down. Come get you down for the press is full. The fats overflow for the wickedness is great because it surely is. It's been a lot of effort going on and it's about time for it to stop. Multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord. Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the, the stars shall withdraw their, uh, their, their signing. And I believe um, I wanted to hit on another one that was also very... Uh, who was it? Um, let me see. Oh, yeah. And why is uh, why a lot of this is happening? Egypt. I want to go to 19. 19 was my point. Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom shall be desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever in Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed for the Lord Yahweh would dwell in Zion. See, so this all has got to be destroyed for the abomination in the midst thereof. You know, I'm going to name a couple of things because this, this stuff is out of, getting out of control. You got homosexuality is on an all-time high. I just seen a video of little kids, you know, just grinding on each other, boy on boy. And not to mention in the spirit, today, coming out the train station, man, these little girls, man. Yo, I'm like so disappointed, man. Esau did us dirty, man, messing with our brains. These little girls in the train station, this one little girl was kissing on another little girl's neck. These little girls had to have been like 13, 14. Like, where did they learn how to do that? Like, how do you, how does they know how to be so highly sexual at that young of an age? At that, like, how did like what? That's just ridiculous. Then you got, then you got um the murderers. Selling drugs for her own people. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Not to mention Esau put it in the cities so that way that so that way Jake can actually sell it and then sell it to their own people so that way the, so that Esau can capture him, put him in jail, and throw him in that continuous cycle. It's all set up for failure. This is all wickedness and gotta go. Pork, swine, all of that, man. Just they just yo lying on each other, bearing false witness, knocking each other wives down. Yo, a lot of a lot a lot of a lot of Jake has been doing that. And it's like very hard. You know what? It's not even very hard. I didn't mean to say hard like not to do. But I mean it's hard for for them not to do it. Not to mention it's in our it's in our raps. It's being and it's being praised. Like, yeah, I'm with the bull shorty. Or I'm with the bull girl. This bull girl is on me. I bet I knocked her girl down. I knocked this girl down last night. Like it's just it's just craziness, man. And so it is, it, is, it is insane wickedness going on and all over this world. It just got to go. This is definitely Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. You ask me, it's 100% official. Like, definitely. And the, 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 the homosexuality is on an all-time high, man. It's just, it just, it just the craziest in the world. What is Leviticus 20 and 13? It says a man on a man is, is abomination. I mean, that's just crazy, man. Like, I don't know what's going on, man. 
But it's it's getting real crazy, and it's time for this time for the Most High to send His Son Yahweh to do His thing. And I wanted to hit on my last precept, um, my last precept actually for this particular conversation. You know what I mean? There's a little lesson, or you can call it a sit down. Is Revelation um, 17 and 16, um, and it says, "In the ten horns, which is NATO, I'm learning that." Which, which thou uh, sawest upon the beast, these shall, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn and burn her with fire. Now, see, with that particular uh, precept right there, it's talking about thermonuclear war. It's talking about, that's why I brought up Ezekiel 38 and, um, 38 and uh, 1 through 6, talking about those particular countries, Russia. And those, you know, Gog and Magog, Russia, Persia, Libya, Ethiopia, and all the other NATO countries, you know, ganging up on America and actually, um, you know, hitting America, killing, destroying America, making it desolate, which is zero, a desert like land in about an hour with nuclear warheads. And so this 17 and 16 of Revelation piggy banks off that really nicely when it says the 10 horns, which are the same countries that I'm talking about. Um, which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So how do you make a country desolate? Like how do you make something desolate with fire? A missile or grenade or fire in general, but you're not about to gasoline the whole country and put it on fire. So how do you destroy such a vast land that big? Nuclear warheads. That's, that's exactly what is going on and how that's going to play out. And so um, it's going to go down because these these particular um, uh, these particular uh, countries are going to destroy them, the, the, the shit ton out of America. And America got to go for all the wickedness has been doing. Not to mention um, I was just on just a piggy bank on why one of the biggest reasons why America got to go is because of. Uh, I believe it was, what was that Joel and three and nine. Let's go back to that one more time. The piggy bank on why this got to go down. You see down. You see right here um, where it talks about eighteen. It says uh, no. It says uh, I'm sorry. It's lock it. Joel three and nineteen is my point on the biggest reason why America got to go and all the other nations. Egypt, which means bondage, um, um, which means a land of bondage or basically bondage or whatever, shall be in desolation. And Edom shall be desolate in wilderness, which is Edom. The biggest part of Edom is in America. But then you got Gog and Magog, Russia and all of them. You know, Edom is pretty vast. But the Edom in general is going to be the whore, which is the main purpose of the situation of being destroyed. Is the whore of Babylon the Great is America. Edom shall be desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah. Judah is a so-called Negro, um, one, of the, one, of the, one of the tribes of, of the uh, 12 of is Israel. But in general, all the tribes was was, was basically um, was had violence against them. Not to mention, you know, the so-called Samuel and Native Indians back in 1492 when they went in slavery, when they when they went in slavery by the so-called Esau, so-called white man, and 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 they actually took their land from them, piece of shit motherfuckers. Excuse my language, but they took them from them. Why you get Thanksgiving when they, you know, Thanksgiving is about slaughtering our our brothers and sisters, man, for the for this land of resources and gold and and then you know just being. Um, selfish and just want one for their own, and I'm hearing that is a lot of it's from resources. Um, so you know that just goes to show with that one, but that's the reason why though. And so I got this video I want to see. I want to show y'all. Um, Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negro, Latinos, Native Indians. Um, I got a I got a, a video regarding how um it's off a of Terminator Three. Um, Rise of Machines gives you a great indication. On how uh, these missiles are going to come down and destroy America from all different angles, and just like just a gang up mission, and just like just like not even fair. Now in this particular movie, it's about the whole world of machines, you know, setting a virus on computers in general, and they were trying to stop the the world at end of uh, from actual because it was machines versus humans. But in this case scenario, let's look at um, the machines as. Um, as uh, the, you know, Gog and Magog, uh, Persia, Egyptian, the Ethiopia, I mean, uh, Libya, and all of NATO in general, and the Valley of Jehoshaphat, and those North Korea, China, the whole nine, and and then these missiles are going to be 
um, shot out and hit the humans, a.k.a. America. And so we're going to look at it like that. So we're going to set that up. But I want you to give you an idea on how these how these bombs are going to come because the way these bombs are hitting is exactly how it's going to look when the day comes and it happens, which is going to be amazing because the, the elect, 144,000 and one-third, um, through faith are going to be uh, are going to be delivered through it and so we're not going to even get hit with that we're going to watch it and be able to see the aftermath of it but let me show you all this though by the time skynet became self-aware it had spread into millions of computer servers across the planet ordinary computers in office buildings dorm rooms everywhere it was software in cyberspace. There was no system core. It could not be shut down. The attack began at 6.18 p.m., just as he said it would. Judgment Day. The day the human race was nearly destroyed by the weapons they built to protect themselves. I should have realized... Our destiny was never to stop Judgment Day. It was merely to survive it. Together. The Terminator knew. He tried to tell us. But I didn't want to hear it. Maybe the future has been written. I don't know. All I know is what the Terminator taught me. Never stop fighting. And I never will. The battle has just begun. Right, that's what I wanted to... Uh, that was definitely a, a really good indication of how those missiles were going to come down. And just, you know, wreck shop and destroy. And so I had to put that up to show how those missiles want to be. Because it's going to look pretty just like that when it hit America. America got to go. Um, all praise to the most high. Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shah, Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shah. Definitely, absolutely. And so I hope this was edifying. You know what I mean? We got prophesying because these things, these things are going to happen. And um, it's coming real soon. The kingdom of heaven is going to come down for the elect. Most high willing. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, I'm one of those men. Uh, but first things first, I'm going to give all praise to the Father, Yahweh. He is to be, to exist. He exists by Hashem in the name, the Lord and Savior, deliverer. He delivers the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem in the name, and the Holy Spirit, Rekah Kodash. Double honor to those apostles from GMS that I learned this truth from. Um, peace and blessings to the Akim out there preaching his word with whole heart, truth, sincerity. And... Um, Blessings to the 144,000 and one third uh, first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. And uh, what's going on? The confusion of faces. Speaking in different tongues, looking in different nations. Shalom.